So we got John Gotti the third, right? This is this is John Gotti the mobster. This is his grandson. He had a, a recent exhibition fight with Floyd Mayweather. And it, it, it went sour because they were trash talking. And Kenny Bayless, who's a horrible, horrible ref, by the way, might I add, he uh he stopped the fight because of the trash talking. So John Gotti III was getting pieced up most of that whole fight. The whole fight was getting his ass whooped while the whole crowd was cheering. God, he got he was still getting fucked up. And he 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 took it to the heart like a little bitch, got upset, and tried to attack Floyd after the bell, after he Kitty Bayless waved off the fight. So he tried to call himself attacking a professional fighter, a skilled fighter. And if you watch closely after he attacked Mayweather, you see Mayweather hit him with a nice right check right hook knocked his ass sip knocked his ass back and knocked some sis right back into him he calmed down quick before the money team jumped in there was about to get in his ass right so then there was a lot of brawling and stuff happened after the fight as well right so you got john Gotti's. i think i think that's his granddaughter she gets up on social media and start tweeting all this crazy stuff about Floyd Mayweather's daughter, she has nothing to do with nothing. You know what I mean? What did Floyd's daughter have to do with anything, right? Meanwhile, her relative is the one that started the whole thing in the first place. If he would have just left the shit alone, it would never happen. It, it would have it would, it got that bad. But she started calling Floyd Mayweather's, uh, started calling everybody monkeys and apes and, not apes, monkeys and, savages all kind of all kind of words she was going in and then she also threatened me with his daughter said rather it could be two or three years from now i'm coming after you now if mayweather took it upon himself to turn this into something else it was served these will serve their ass right who are you to threaten somebody with your family member, your brother, whoever he is to her? He started the whole fucking thing. I think that's her, her uh, I think it was Gotti's daughter. So if it's John Gotti's daughter, I could be wrong. I don't know if it's his daughter, but if it's his daughter, uh, that would be her nephew then. Okay, that would, that would probably be her nephew because that's his grand, unless that's her son. It could have been her son. I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Don't care at all. You get on there and you start threatening people, saying, I'm going to get you. Man, listen, man. You, you ready? These people really think that they're still living in the Gotti era, bro. This is not the Gotti era. And even if it was the Gotti era, that shit don't fly with everybody, man. That don't fly with everybody. As you, you already see, you know, John Gotti, he got fixed up in jail already. So nobody's above an ass whooping or above anything else. So you out there putting out these threats. People can see you too. Right? You, you out here threatening people. And, and how come she didn't go to jail? You see? This is what I keep telling y'all about white supremacy, bro. She up here threatening blatant threat on social media. Nobody look. The cops ain't go check her for that, right? Let it have been the other way around. Floyd Mayweather, the daughter would have said something bad about, about her. They would have probably been knocking at his knocking at uh, Floyd Mayweather's door or her door. But I ain't gonna lie, to be real, this, when it comes to situations like this, I say leave the cops out of it, man. Leave the cops out of it and keep it in the streets, bro. Y'all street, right? They street, you know, Gotti, you know, they they was mobsters and they was they was in the streets heavy. Alright, so then everybody just keep them in the street then. Whatever happened, happened. That's the way I see it. That's how I would have did it. Like, bro, you're not gonna try to scare me. Because of what your grandfather or your father's reputation was, man. First of all, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck, man? The best, the mighty have fallen. All right? And I just thought, I told people, man, these Italians, man, like when it comes to it, they don't like you. Stop naming yourself after these people. They don't like you. Black people, black man, black woman, especially black men. Cause this is a thousand fucking Gotti's. You got 
Irv Gotti, you got Yo Gotti, you got Capone and all these cats, man. I'm like, bro, they don't like you, bro. They don't like us. Why the fuck are you naming yourself after these fucking clowns, bro? Are they naming any of our heroes after them? Uh, uh, are they naming themselves after our heroes? Nope. So fuck them. I just thought that that was, re that was something worth talking about because I don't know where this is going to go because she she made a clear threat and she I doubt she's even going to apologize. She's still, she still living off that whole thing where I'm a Gotti. People got to bow to me. I can't be touched. Okay. Keep that mentality going and see how far it gets you. You know, that's, that's crazy because you already know Nobody's susceptible to uh, getting to anybody can get it out here, bro. And for and for her to throw Mayweather's daughter in the mix, I'm not sure if Mayweather's daughter said something with a tweet, but I doubt it was anything racial. She started getting into, you could tell her the, all of her all of those tirades she was going on was those had clear racial undertones to it. You know, the one yeah, the one with the man face, yeah, the man face chick. Let me know what y'all thought about that. John Gotti's daughter or granddaughter goes on a a racist rant against Floyd Mayweather's daughter and the, and the family uh, as well. Y'all know what this is. Black Life Podcast. Catch y'all later.